Good evening. In accepting this honor, my thank you to Purdue's Department of Chemical Engineering, the Dean of Engineering, the DEA Selection Committee, and the many professional colleagues on whose shoulders I often stand. As you will learn shortly, I have had a long relationship with Purdue, which makes DEA recognition extra special to me. So why did I come to Purdue? After growing up in Ohio, my short list for colleges was Ohio State and Purdue. Purdue won out due to a very enjoyable day of tours and interviews on campus, plus a higher national ranking among engineering schools. It was only coincidence that Purdue had much the better football and basketball teams. The football team was soon to include quarterback Bob Greasy and running back Leroy Keyes, both subsequent Heisman Trophy candidates. We were ranked number one in the country for one week and later went on to and won the 1967 Rose Bowl. The basketball team with Rick Mount was to become the 1969 national runner-up. I started out in engineering sciences, then switched to chemical engineering at the end of my freshman year. As a senior, I took the required process control course and fell in love with the topic, as it represented a combined mix of chemical engineering, computers, and electronics, all of which fascinated me. The course provided much of the inspiration for my subsequent industrial career in process automation. Another highlight was Purdue organizing the first computer match dance ever held in the Midwest. Two AA professors wrote a Fortran computer program to create matches based on registered students answering multiple uh, 20 multiple choice questions with answers entered onto IBM punch cards. Due to the six to one male to female ratio of students at the time, male students had to register early to have any chance of attending. There in front of NBC and CBS regional television cameras in the Purdue Memorial Union, I met my future wife. We married about three and a half years later, have three accomplished sons and now five grandchildren, and have been the home for six poodles. We recently celebrated our 52nd anniversary. In getting married, I inherited 12 extended family members who were Purdue graduates, including three engineers. After graduating from Purdue, which included a commission in the Navy from having completed the Navy ROTC program, I served two years of active duty as an engineering officer on an attack aircraft carrier in the Vietnam War. Then came graduate school and a 35-year career at Eli Lilly and Company, headquartered in Indianapolis. During initial interviews and plant tours, I was shown a fermenter making penicillin, which was typically a one week long batch process. When asking about an operator looking through the sight glass on top of the fermenter, I was told that there were no meaningful sensors indicating the progress in health of the living cells inside the fermenter, and that the only rough indication that all was well and that penicillin was being made was to observe the color and texture of the foam layer on top of the fermentation broth. My interviewer, a member of Lilly Management, told me that process control was more art than science, and he challenged me to change some of the art to science. I literally spent most of the rest of my career trying to do just that. Along the way, we developed and implemented novel fermentation process control and data historian computer systems, added new sensors to fermenters, interfaced bioreactors to online analytical systems such as mass spectrometers and chromatographs, and also were the first in the pharmaceutical industry to apply artificial intelligence to bioprocess control as a standard manufacturing practice. Today, bioprocesses have many online measurements and algorithms that help monitor and control what the cells inside the bioreactors are doing. This has helped greatly in optimizing bioprocesses and in diagnosing problems when they occur. A project of special significance during my career at Lilly was leading the team that automated the world's first manufacturing facility 
for making a product incorporating recombinant DNA technology. This occurred in the early 1980s after Genentech had developed the world's first commercial product, that being human insulin, that was manufactured from a microorganism, that being E. coli bacteria, whose DNA had been man-modified by adding the gene which coded for the protein insulin. This was a huge deal, as previously all insulin was extracted from cattle or swine pancreas glands, frozen and imported from slaughterhouses all over the world. The supply of these glands was the bottleneck to increased insulin production capacity. Also, animal-derived insulin was not identical to human insulin, sometimes leading to undesired side effects. Anyway, being a small company, Genentech pursued a partnership with Lilly, an icon in the insulin business, for manufacture and marketing of this new form of insulin. At the time, consumer advocacy groups, such as those led by Ralph Nader and Sidney Wolf, were raising objections with using any microorganisms that were not naturally occurring in nature. So in addition to meeting already strict FDA manufacturing regulations, Lilly's computer-controlled process for making human insulin implemented additional sterilization, containment, and other procedures to further ensure a safe operating environment. This was all successfully done, and Lilly has been one of the world leaders in making human insulin ever since. In automating pilot plant and manufacturing processes at Lilly, my initial perception of process control as being multidisciplined, initially acquired while at Purdue, only deepened. Plants evolved to where they utilized tens of thousands of electrical wires, contained thousands of control loops, included many online analytical systems, used sophisticated real-time computer systems, and generated huge amounts of data needing to be analyzed and presented to operators, scientists, and engineers in efficient, meaningful ways. So the development and support of such systems required the skill sets of process engineers, electrical engineers, and computer scientists. I am thankful for the help of many colleagues in these disciplines as we work together to advance the state of the art of bioprocess control. Some of this work at Lilly led to invitations to pursue technology exchange visits with other companies, publish papers and book chapters, speak at conferences, present guest lectures at universities, and to develop national standards on various aspects of process automation. So what about helping at Purdue? Starting while employed at Lilly and continuing to this day, opportunities have come up to contribute in various ways to Purdue's Department of Chemical Engineering. My interest in accepting these opportunities was mostly based on my interest in better aligning academia with the needs and practices in industry. Subsequently, I have been appreciative, very appreciative of the chemical engineering faculty in giving me, as a representative of industry, opportunities to contribute to thesis committees, participate in academia industry consortiums, and to present guest lectures to provide an increased industrial practice perspective to some of the courses and research activities. This included two semesters, uh, being hired for two semesters when several faculty were off on sabbatical to help teach the senior design course and supervise student teams on the associated capstone design project. In showing their appreciation for these contributions, the Department of Chemical Engineering, as well as the College of Engineering, have been generous in expressing their thanks in various ways. One of my wife's and my favorite memories was being invited to a banquet at Purdue many years ago in which we met Neil Armstrong, Drew Brees, and other famous alumni. So the combination of Purdue, Lilly, the U.S. Navy, and life with my supporting wife and family has made for a very rewarding career. I am deeply honored that whatever contributions I have made to Purdue in the industrial control of life science processes have been deemed worthy of DEA recognition. Thank you and boiler up. <laughs>